Okay, let's bring in the Shadow Trade and Tourism Minister, Kevin Hogan, now. Kevin, uh, how's this affecting your community, the red fire ants? Yeah, Pete, a lot of concern, actually. I mean, the, the first site in New South Wales, as that report just said, was a week or two ago near Mwoolumbar. So, you know, this has been the fear for a long time. I mean, what both state and federal governments need to do, we need to eradicate them. I mean, they're going to keep moving unless we do get rid of them. So we actually initiated a Senate inquiry a little while back because we didn't think we were doing enough. The government was doing enough. So, look, more resources need to get put into it. As that report said, Pete, if these get out of control, this is going to cost the economy billions of dollars a mm. year. Um, Hospitalisations will go up as well because people get stunned. They're very painful um, if you get bitten by one of sure. these. It can kill livestock in the worst-case scenario. So a lot, lot more resources need to go into this, Pete. OK, still with the environment, the Murray-Darling Basin Plan finally passes. Your thoughts on this? A disaster, Pete, um, and we'll see this roll out of what this decision means for our communities over the next few years. So what does it mean is that the government is going to spend up, and the reports are up to tens of billions of dollars. They're not saying how much, but the federal government is now going to spend up to tens of billions of dollars to go and buy water allocations that's currently owned by farmers or food producers. So that's going to decimate the communities where those farmers sell out because you won't have rice producers there, you won't have people growing food there. Um, so that will decimate those communities because people will leave because the people won't be farming anymore. But the other thing it means, Pete, if you take less food production out of, the, out of the economy, food prices are going to go up as well because we're going to be producing less Australian food, we're going to be buying more imported food, um, and this is a really, really bad decision by the government. Extends the life of the Murray-Darling, though, does it not? Well, look, we were, we, were, we were extending the life of the Murray-Darling we were in. We were putting more money, sorry, more water back into the Murray-Darling system through uh, water efficiencies, more good conservation uh, measures. So a lot of water had already gone back into the, into the Murray and Darling. We know we need to keep it healthy and it's getting much healthier. There are outbreaks occasionally, but um, it's a, a much healthier the system than it used to be. But this is just an ideological obsession to take water out um, and it's going to decimate communities. We won't see it next week. We might not see it next month. But over the next two years, some of these a lot of these communities will be decimated by this and as I say your food prices are going to go up when you start producing less food and it's going to be harder to buy Australian food in the next two or three right, years uh, we'll be buying our fruit from yep sorry thought you were wrapping up there Kevin uh, just short for time but I did want to get you on uh, it's quite a pivot here to national security we've got this new video overnight from Border Force with quite a warning uh, strong warnings in different languages to uh, various parts of Southeast Asia warning against people smugglers not to get any ideas well, Pete, this is not a surprise. I mean, we've been watching this train wreck from the government now for a few weeks. They weren't ready for the High Court decision. They should have had legislation drafted if the High Court decision went against what we wanted. Then they were waiting again to them for the rationale of it. So they're playing catch up all the time. Also, Pete, really grubby week in Parliament this week. I think you see Minister Giles and Minister only under a lot of pressure because I don't think they're up to it. And throwing accusations at Peter Dutton that they did. A really grubby week from the government. Um, so, look, I'm not surprised now that all the, all the people smugglers are saying, look, this government's not on top of their game, let's go. So um, a really big job we have now to do. I mean, Labor have bad form on this anyway when they're in government from 7 to 13, losing controllers of our borders. So we've seen a, a boat arrive the last week or so. We see the people smugglers get moving. Minister O'Neill and, um, and uh, Minister Giles, you know, been doing a very poor job. Kevin, we will leave it there. We'll talk to you soon.